guys. Today I'm going to demonstrate you all uh, how to use this uh, manual touch. This manual touch that I found one in the market uh, consists of uh, three things. One is the compressor, the manual compressor where you have to use your legs to compress the air. So the compressed air will go through this tube, come to this container. And this container is filled with a small amount of gasoline. If you have a high graded petrol or something, will be the end result will be much better. And you can see the two tubes is a mixture of the compressed air and the gasoline gas come to this touch. And we have a valve here to control the flame. Okay, before you use this, as usual, uh, you have to bear all the safety uh, precautions. You have to take all the safety precautions, uh, personal protective systems like uh, hand gloves, uh, maybe even the goggles, all this. Take into consider. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is show you how I'm going to light up this uh, manual touch. This touch is manu uh, mostly used for jewelry making. Uh, not for industrial uh, use, I think maybe it's uh, not very good for industrial use. It's for small uh, welding like a ring or chain will be very very useful. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I'm going to light up this uh, lighter. First things I'm going to use, what I'm going to do is compress the air by using my leg. When I compress the air and you can hear the hissing sound. And this hissing sound means there's a gas coming up from this uh, torch. So once I know the gas is coming, then I can light up. And you can see the flame is coming up from this torch. I can compress the pressure to increase the pressure on the flame. And I also I can adjust how small, how big I want. And I can, you can see, I can make it even very fine, thin, uh, flame because sometimes we need a very sharp edge flame to weld a ring or edge or even a small gap. So this is much suitable for uh, jewelry making. You can find one in the market. Uh, this is very traditional way yeah, of uh, making used for making jewelry. Uh, when I if I stop compressing the air, when I com stop compressing the air, you can see the fire will put off by itself. I, okay, so now it's no more fire because there's more, no more compressed air coming up from this touch. In my next video, I'm going to show you all uh, how I'm going to weld or uh, use this touch for making uh, small anything uh, like jewelry. Uh, please uh, look out for it. Um, Thank you for watching. See you guys. Bye.